All right, everyone, Supreme called me over here. So Tuesday night again, and uh, let's see what we have over here. So we got some locking bonuses, obviously. We got the, this one should be the G3 Gundam. So basically the RA-73, not the 72. So we got some Builder Training Wars. Uh, these are probably gonna be my least favorite of the locking bonuses. I just feel like um, I just have a lot. Of, uh, like to be honest, I just have too many of those builder training marks that I can't really use all of it. Uh, just because there's not gonna be that many suits you kind of upgrade per every week, right? Uh, what do we have here? So we finally have a list of what we can kind of dig into for the first in 3.3. So I'll definitely do like a separate video. But for the time being, you guys can definitely read on ahead and just kind of see what's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna read this in game right now. I need to see what's going on like. Uh, definitely got to see what kind of like, um, you know, stuff they're adding in over here. There's probably a lot. Um, I'm seeing some probably some, you know, uh, quality update right there. So that's always going to be good, right? Um, just some kind of quality update. Um, but other than that, in terms of some big stuff over here. So custom made mission over here. So, hmm, that that better be something rewarding. Like, because I, I really stopped playing uh, the, like the creative mission. Uh, just because I like me personally, I don't really know what to make. So first of all, so it's not really like um, the game spot and all that. I just don't have the idea to make it. So uh, you guys do have the idea to make something that is definitely great, you know. But me, I'm just like I, I don't know what to make. So, um, but yeah, I'll definitely take a look at that on a much later date. So the update should be next week, probably. Yeah, it should be next week on the Tuesday. So probably not going to be any content for the tuesday night but definitely gonna be something maybe on that uh, wednesday morning if i can get up in time to record for you guys but in terms of this week they they had us again you know so we are now going to be nine weeks for nine weeks straight sokai week or you know, let me not say sokai or limited banners over here so um in terms of them returning banners we have the high new version car and then as well as a unicorn perfectibility so these two units are not definitely gonna not gonna be something to let's say oh worth 74 um i mean like I, i'm being maybe a little bit biased towards the high new hits i think it's still one of a it's still one of one good um head parts where it should be but other than that all the other parts you can kind of say they have been kind of power crap ready but in terms of overall unit, they are still one of the most timeless units to be looking at. You know, just high new Gundam all around is just really high. Like, especially Unicorn Perfectibility. Uh, perfectibility. You cannot really go wrong with that. So if you guys do want to get some of these parts over here, you guys can definitely go over to the Hardship Store. And then pick up maybe the 300 um, Hardships deal part pick. Uh, the part pick up tickets and there you guys can definitely pick your parts from there. So if you're talking about summoning specifically on this banner, I will tell you guys no. Definitely not going to be the way to go. Um, in terms of the battle circuit, they have updated a lap 11 to 20. So this week around, we should be able to get get that 1,000 hardships. So if you guys are able to finish with more than, let's say, um, what you call it? If you guys are able to finish it with like more than 15 minutes left, you guys are set. You guys are good to go. Um, other than that, we have some standard week, right? Uh, so not really. I don't, I don't even think we should even call it a standard week anymore because they'll always kind of push in some, you know, limited time suits. So this week around, we do have the Victory 2 uh, Buster Gun of this around. So last time around, we got the Assault form. So this time around, this is going to be the standard Buster, just the Victory 2 uh, Buster over here. So I'll uh, be talking about standard stuff. Uh, definitely not going to be anything good for, you know, pick up for sure because you can probably, you know, you can definitely pick up the full set, you know, within like uh, four four to five weeks uh, later down the road. So that's why I can, I can kind of see why they're pushing out some Sokai stuff or not Sokai stuff, limited parts during a supposedly standard week because they know people won't summon and they got to find a way to generate re revenue, right? So, um, so yeah, that is uh, pretty much the just overall gist of it. So even the banner for this, for the pilot is not showing up. So game low, please. It's not loading for me. But yeah, that is uh, literally gonna be pretty much it. So this unit is definitely uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother someone this matter for sure. Um, so we got the gray Gundam. So we have your G3 Gundam over here. So uh, it's gonna be another RA72. Um, basically the sprite, the same models. So um, the only differences potentially we can see is probably the EXQ. 
but I don't think they will drop anything else, I must say. But this week around is going to be a special week because we finally, you know, uh, we, we, we have our monthly, you know, um, previous weeks uh, or prior welfare parts getting some alterations. So those are always nice to be looking at into. So yeah, definitely going to be doing like EX skill showcase for all of them, like how they are prior to and up to alterations. So you guys can definitely know a retro not to alterate your parts or not. So yeah, we got your being server right there. You guys should build a training marks login bonuses and we have an emergency battle. I don't know why they put battle right there. It should be like an emergency uh, cash grab. <laughs> you will. Yeah, it's pretty like, I don't know. It's, maybe they're dropping it because it's like new, new year, uh, new year, for example. But I don't know. It's just kind of like strange to me that they're dropping another one on a, on a standard week. But, you know, they can. All right. Here's here's the here's the story, right? Uh, they can drop as many. They can, let's say, drop 10 Sokai banner at, in one day, you know. They can definitely do that, but you know, at the end of the day, it's just more like, do you guys like the unit, or there's something you need? Because like, let's 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 talk about real life, right? So let's say every new every new every year, they drop a new iPhone, new smartphone, for example, right? Are you really gonna upgrade every year? So it's really it's pretty much the same thing. Like you don't really need to get a new parts every week, right? So it's pretty much the same with getting like, do you need a new phone every year? So it's pre pretty much the same analogy right there. Um, so. This week around, we are going to be looking at a emergency battle, big scale double state over here. So in terms of big scale, it's definitely going to be a really um, incentivized thing to be looking at because like any big scale, they're just going to be really good straight out the gate with, pri uh, with proper alteration. So my problem with big scale is like, so you know, you, we all know that eventually they will make it into the general pools, but the main problem is that they're not getting out bash. So. Uh, so any any parts without the alteration to the big scale property, they're just completely bad in a way uh, Just because their overall purpose is like in terms of these units, they tend to have a lower um, General stat than let's say your your non big scale part. So this one without the alteration is just not going to be as impressive overall so um, So if you are not gonna be somebody for this week definitely get away You have to wait like I I, I want to say that you have to wait into a banner that you can get the L batch to kind of alterate the part because the prior to alteration, I'm just gonna say this that is just not gonna be impressive or wrong. So we also have a new build project policy over here. So how many materials are we looking at? So four material for this week. So yeah, okay, it's not that bad, right? So this one is uh, going to last you to the end of the month. So from the start of the February all the way to March 1st over here. So keep that in mind when you guys look at how do I get the material, you guys got to take a look at the um, kind of the material weeks over here. So uh, material A is gonna be from this week, starting from today, February 1st, all the way to February 8th. And then material B is gonna start from February 8th to February 15th. And then material C is gonna start from 15th to the 22nd, or that's when it ends. And then for material D, it's gonna be from the 22nd to the March 1st. So um, that is gonna be the overall breakdown for when you can get a specific material. So yeah. So in terms of the bail, I I mean, it's pretty pretty much gonna be a pretty powerful, um, you know, melee unit. And given the fact that it does have a alternative attribute, so which means you are gonna be able to, so once you get, get up to seven star, you can basically use whatever the alternative attribute war tag is. So it does not really matter how bad or how good the war tag is on this one, because you get you can, you can always take the older one, like the prior um, attribute and just kind of link them together. Not really link them together, but once you have it all three through seven star, you can kind of use it without having, uh, let's say the standard version of it. So that's uh, pretty much the overall story behind that. But in terms of some, you know, standard unit getting some R or welfare unit getting some alteration, we have the um, that one golden unit from um, the double series, like the first season, like the final boss. I don't even know how to say the name right there. Uh, we also have a H3 fortress. So that is a um, fortress in terms of the army skill. I expect some greatness coming out of that. So that is definitely something I am looking out for. Saber Gundam, definitely a good pickup um, if you're talking about the torso parts because it does have a cooldown and hopefully with a proper alteration it can be better in a way, I don't know, but definitely got to take a look to see how good they can be, you know. Um, in terms of this week, we have this banner over here, so this is, they call it the exclusive pickup part bow side, is it, oh, is it, which bow, oh, 
Is this the regular Bozai? Wow, they're dropping a lot this week. So, um, in terms of this Bozai better, I feel like this is, like I said again, this is probably the better step up to be looking at. Because with a cost of 4,500 Charles Ships, you can uh, first pick up, pick yourself a part that you like. Two, you get the um, alteration too, and you know, that's pretty much it. So, um, you know, this banner is going to be better than your regular one because you actually do get L badges. So I think that is definitely something a lot of you guys would want rather than summon it on like a general banner or just some other banner that may not give that to you. So yeah, this is uh, definitely not a bad option per se. And then last but not least, we have your emergency battle or urgent battle, however you call it. So um, in terms of the Zeta, this, I think this poser here is actually the same as the high grade box art, I think, maybe? I could be wrong, but yeah, that is uh, going to be pretty much it. So is it? Oh, this one. So this banner, you can kind of ignore for now because this banner is going to last until the end of the build project for this one, specifically the Gundam Bell. So not going to be anything that is going to go away next week or the following week. It's going to go away on March 1st, so we're there. So yeah. Um, other than that, some hard chips on sale, or no, this is the item set reset right here. So you can pick up yourself a lot of these good items definitely, but they're going to cost you money for sure. So um, that is uh, going to be pretty much it from the event tab right there. So first thing first, going to be looking at the, what you would call it, the alteration tools and the alteration page and see what we're looking at. So, um, you know, this, there's welfare parts over here. So I do have all of them, so I can uh, definitely uh awaken it or all treat it uh whenever at time just gonna see how we look at that so this one does have one ex skill so all right this one have one right there as well and this one has only these okay it's not, it's not that bad so all the other ones just gonna be portrait whether or not the portrait is going to be good or not um in terms of the state i just want to quickly see what are we looking at so it's going to be all big skill and we have one two three four five ex skill my gosh or six ex skill oof uh, we're looking at 10 parts and I just want to quickly see what kind of uh, stuff we're looking at. Okay. And do keep that in mind. In terms of like alternative attribute unit, they usually come with another EX skill. So uh, that is definitely something we can be looking forward to. Retro or not, it's going to be good or not. So, oh my gosh, 7k defense. Okay. Yeah, I'm just worried this unit may be a really good option for, let's say, in an upcoming shot defense arena. Because when I took when I saw it say that I'm like oh my gosh it's gonna be a transformer unit and you can link that to the the SHP one and then you can get transformer tag it's gonna be bad and this one being a big skill this kind of worries me a little bit in a way so yeah it, it is worrying worrying me already because the stat in this one is not even that bad so all right so here is gonna be your forty percent traits but um if you guys do have the wing zero that we had like a couple of weeks ago this is literally the same thing but you know this one just having a big skill property which is gonna make it 10 times better you know but okay i just want to quickly take a look gonna be doing my regular alteration review for you guys uh, in a much later uh probably tonight just want to get this out so you guys can definitely know whether or not to summon on it etc and etc so this one, wait, is there even like a new EX skill in here or no? Whoa, what? Okay, the shoe is uh, kind of busted here. Hello? Whoa. I have never seen a shoe with that much really attack and shot attack at the same time. Whoa, oh my gosh. That looks pretty good. Not even gonna lie. All right. Um, so I got to do the alteration review for the Seda as well as the Gundam Bell because it's a build project So there's gonna be a lot of hardships that is involved So that's why I do want to cover that with you guys whether or not there's gonna be any good parts or not So uh, I'm gonna be looking at the capsule page real quick So there's definitely gonna be a lot of like kind of like, you know stuff to be take a look a lot of tempting Parts, you know, definitely like I'm gonna tempted to summon on the Seda Gundam just because of the fact that you do get some seven star material so yeah oh it's only one loop oh i i don't know if it's one loop i might actually go for it because it's only one loops it's gonna cost you only four thousand five hundred i might but i'm telling you guys don't even go for this banner because i um just why you know um because it's like the night we can you know of like limited parts so if you go for it it just really like our if you are going for it it's just like kind of first of all you can ask yourself the question do you guys like the sailing in them 
And then second of all, is there any part that you actually need from the unit over, right? So this one is going to be another P attribute. Uh, do we even need any P attribute shooter part? I don't think we do. We we only need S attribute at the moment. So, um, so that's going to be a question to ask. So, do you need the unit? Do you like the unit? And can you use it? So those are going to be something you want to ask yourself before submitting for it. Uh, because I can tell you guys that in terms of EX skill so far they are looking exactly like the same as the like the older one we have so not going to be anything brand new if you talk about the older version you can definitely pick up the part already with the pickup ticket so yeah so this really depends if you like the unit or not so yeah over oh uh this one over here we got we got the so buster or no 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 we got the v2 buster excuse me um i don't even know how good this unit can be so we are looking at one two three four five no five so how many parts six parts six parts okay six parts i'm like what am i looking at uh i want to take a look at the stats okay this have some pretty high um you know you know what is it shot attack shot defense already Ty West not probably not going to be the best you know high power and get them type never want to mix them two together in a way uh okay some pretty good traits already right some power boosting this one locking to an arm shoe is um, probably not. We got some micro missile over here, so okay. B plus power, not bad. Orange head wise, probably not the best. And this one actually does give you a assault slash buster EX right here. So the unfortunate factor, you're not really gonna be getting that premium power um, from, the, from the jump. So uh, you are gonna definitely suffering from some you know EX cube um, damage from this one. Um, but in terms of overall animation this one may be a new one i don't know the name seems pretty new so maybe it's gonna be like a new one this one's gonna be the same as just any v2 anyway so okay what about this one over here so whoa, whoa. oh that's it okay yeah that is gonna be pretty rich so now let me take a look at the shop and see what else uh, we have here gotta be taking a look at the fragment first right um um, in terms of the fragment unit that we can get this week, it's going to be the Musa Gundam. Which one is it? This one is the... Okay, so it's this one over here. I don't... Alright, so I don't really know what parts you kind of pick up from the set yet. I'll definitely give you guys another update later on. So this one is another Musa Gundam? Oh, this one is the SD version. Okay. And then we have a F92... Um, long range type over here, I, I believe. Yeah, this one is a long range type, so yeah, definitely gonna be giving us a little update on which part you're gonna pick up right there. And then, other than that, uh, that is uh, pretty much gonna be it. So, uh, if you guys are talking about to alterate, let's say the high name gun for Chicago or the unicorn for predictability, you guys can definitely pick up some L badges if you guys do have the bail uh, material A over here. So, uh, you do have to summon on th uh, this week's uh, current banner, and then you guys should be able to exchange for that if you do choose right. Um, other than that, going to be looking at the welfare stuff right there. So we get the great coins over here. So I'm gonna take a look at these real quick. So these are you know, definitely something to make up for sure. These over here, uh, no, no, not these. These right here. Pick these up over here, definitely. Um, other than that, W Awakening Circuit for the week. We have Protag Zeon Mid Range for Space. Ah, I think all these I all I need all of them. That's good. That's really good right there. So yeah, gonna be pretty much it from here. And then other than that, I don't think they have updated anything else over here. Or no, they did actually. So we got the Ultra banner that drops the L badges and you can pick up a parts from here. So uh, in terms of overall unit that they have up to now, what do they have? Ooh, they have it all the way up to wing zero. Ooh, that's not bad actually. That is uh, actually pretty good. So they're up to Raphael, Cole Soran. Not a bad banner. So you have one, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so ye, there's uh, seven parts, that is uh, seven units to be exact, that can go up to a um, seven star rarity. And you can start picking up a part you, if you want at a cost so at the lowest, you know, at the lowest you get everything and pick up parts at the lowest it's gonna be 4,500. So not a bad option if you want to choose that route but um you know if you, if you do have some other plans to be hardship so I'll definitely go for that uh, whatever you guys need to do with that but yeah it's not too bad over here okay 
they have updated these over here like per usual so yeah that is uh pretty much going to be it for this week so we have a lot of like in terms of summoning aspect just a lot of like new suits going on uh definitely in terms of the like you know if you are a free to play player or even like a casual player um those new stuff may not really intrigue you in a way but in terms of like um some other stuff like was it the welfare alteration i do expect they can be um something of a decent um pickup or even alteration so definitely gonna be doing reviews for all of them you know in a much later timeline so with that being said that is uh, going to be pretty much it and i'll catch you guys all on the next one